Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, Pendrums versus Despia. Let's go. I'm hyped for this video. If you guys are hyped for this video, you have to make sure to smash the subscribe button. You guys don't need to buy play mats, despite the fact that they're beautiful and that the fact they're on TriffGaming.com, you should go right now and check it out. All I ask for is your undying love and support and loyalty. Just smash the subscribe button. That's the best support anyone can ask for. I love you all, and let's get into this Pendulum versus Despia battle. It's gonna be insane. This new Despia deck is sick, and I'm looking forward for you guys to see this absolute showdown. So you guys ready for the video? Let's get straight into it. Pendulum versus Despia, let's go. <laughs> The best deck, Pendulum, versus the, one of the supposed new decks that might be one of the best decks, Despia. So we'll see who turns out on top, Pen or Despia. Let me know in the comments, baby! Who do you guys got? Pendulum or Despia? Let's go! So we lose the dice roll here. And for those who don't know what Despia does, it's basically Winda Turbo. But it's not just Winda Turbo, it's Winda Protected. You protect the Winda. And it's very good together. In the list I'll be using, I'll be using pure Pendulum Magicians. And my hand is redonkulous. I love my hand. My hand is broken. This Time Gazer Magician, that's no brick. This Time Gazer is going to put in some work for me. This hand is fantastic. So, next, he's going to go to Shadal Fusion. He's going to send these two. Now, this is what the Despia cards do. Okay, this is the first time in my life I'm playing Despia. But just after playing one match, it's very similar to Shadal's. They work together with the... Uh, uh, with Shadals, they work together with, with Dogmatica, and I think in the lore, Despians and Dogmaticas are like very similar. Um, I think he's also playing 3 Nadir Servant, I'm not 100%, but it would make a lot of sense. So here he goes into Despian Trage Tragedy, they all work very well together. They all synergize very well together, and I won't be surprised if Shadal, Dogma, and then instead of Invoke, Despia might be the new card that comes in together. So, what... Shadal, Despian Tragedy does. The card sent to the graveyard by a card effect, and that's typically, or, or, or banished. So that's typically all of its fusion summon effects. Uh, you, you add a Despian monster. So here, you're going to add uh, Aluber, the Jester of Despia. And this is the Searcher. It's kind of like Ecclesia in a sense. You're going to use its effect here to add Despia Theater. Despia Theater is a free fusion summon. All these trigger Shadal fusion effects because they're not cost. And, then, and they're fusion summons. So, this is a, basically a free fusion summon field spell, brings out this card. So, the beauty of Winda and Despian Quarter Ties together is that this Despian card says during the main phase, uh, make all your opponents attack zero. So, if all my monsters are zero attack, how am I outing a Winda? You can't destroy it by effects. You can't destroy it by battle because your monsters are zero attack. What the hell are you going to do? Oh my, am I going to draw an Imperm that I don't play? It's rough. And he has Genius in it, and he has a Shadal Shizm. So let's see how this goes. He draws as well for Shadal Beast Talents. All right, my turn. Duel some Alliance, let's go. I'm going to show this man what Purple Poison does in this very big brain play. Double Wisdom Eye, oh my god, how beautiful does this look? Just look at it, bro. I don't know here what this set is. I'm hoping it's like an Imperm or something. He doesn't Imperm my Joker. I go to Wilson Lion, Star Pengraph. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my god. My Wisdom Eye is going to trigger. And Star Pengraph uh, will trigger. Sorry, I got Purple Poison. And I specifically add Celestial Magician. I'll explain why later. So we got Purple Poison, Star Pengraph, Joker. Instantly I say enter battle phase. So enter battle phase. And he says, oh, before you enter, I'll use the effect of this guy to make him zero attack. Because he knows Purple Poison will boost Joker to 3k attack. All right, great. All right, my turn now. This is where I make a massive misplay. I didn't know that this deck played Shadal Shizm. He didn't draw it, search it, nothing. I should have known. I should have known. At this point, I should go Wisdom Eye Effect into Dragon Pit Magician. Dragon Pit, discard Time Gazer, pop this. I don't gotta deal with Shadal Shizm for the rest of my life. And then I Pendulum Summon, attack, 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 win the duel. But I don't respect the set. So what do I do? I Pendulum Summon. Celestial out of end phase, I Wisdom Eye into Double Iris Magician, and then I go Double Iris, add Pendulum Graph, and at this point, I go Enter Battle, Celestial, attack the Winda, trigger Purple Poison, makes it a lot of 2,700 attack, double damage, 
Oh my god, this is gonna do some serious damage here. So I attack the Winda. Uh, he's gonna trigger the Despia effect from his grave. He has it all fusion. That's fine. Pearl poison it, destroy the field spell. And this is gonna add a very good card here. Branded opening. So this card's very good. When your fusion card gets destroyed, uh you could special this out, and then it's effect triggers because a normal or special, and it adds a branded spell trap. And this card is really good. Discard one card, then take a Despia monster from your deck, either add it to your hand or special summon it. The rest of the turn going to win fusion monsters. And it's not a cost, so it triggers all shadows. So that's really, really, really good together. Alright, this is fine. I win the duel now because the wind is gone. This card's useless, this card's useless, they do nothing now. So all I do is put up a board of a billion negates, I end up Pangraph, and I win the duel. Right? I special souls here. And then this man goes to the whole schism. I can't play through Winda at this point. I can't play through Winda at this point. He's gonna get rid of my souls. And there's nothing I can do to Winda now. This makes me want to play a Castell. This is now really sad. And I, I, I scoop because I lose to Winda right there. So the Schism got me. Despias are pretty cool, man. They're pretty cool. You guys saw right there. So my opponent's hand, Drollin Lockbird, Wendy, Fantaz, all these. Oh, this. Oh, not looking good. My hand is also dog shit. So my hand is very bad right here. Okay, but this is not very bad. It's going to do the job. All right, what I'm going to showcase right now is going to showcase just how good this deck is. Good English, Triff. I'm going to showcase what I'm going to showcase. Yes. Special harmonizing and bring out a rank four. Level four. At this point, all I need to do is Tornado Dragons, Scale Star Pengraph, Tornado Dragon, Pop Double Iris, add Wisdom Eye for a follow-up, Trigger Star Pengraph, same chain, add uh, harmonizing as well, uh, set my Scythe. He's going to trigger Droll. He's going to lose his Droll. Scythe, draw phase, tornado, pop phantasmate. I have my tr uh, pen graphs. I have Scythe stopping his whole turn, and I win the duel on my next turn. But like a clown I that I am, I go into Star Pendulum Graph. I have my moments. 99% of the time, I'm a genius. But the other 1%, I'm a clown. And that's all right. That's all right. Here, I go into Needle Fiber, Star Pen Graph. He goes Phantasme. I'm like FML, but that's all right. So next, I summon Tuning Magician. Next, I add Wisdom Mind. Here he triggers the Droll. I'm like, ah, this hurts. Because I was going to find a way to pop my Tanner Dragon by a very cool way I had in mind. My normal summon has not been used yet. But I'm going to go Oak Dragon, add Harmonizing from Extra Deck. Droll only stops adding from Graveyard. And like an idiot, I put Scythe. I clicked to Spell Trap. I thought I set the card. I didn't want to set it in the Monster Zone. I thought I could set, and it said I could two Spell Trap. And then he saw I had a Scythe. I'm just like, oh my goodness gracious, I'm an idiot. He literally was not supposed to know I had that. But that's alright. Even through the biggest brick, we're still going to find a way to win this. He goes this in draw phase. I'm very sad I revealed the Scythe. That's alright. I'm going to let him add some cards. He's going to activate Despia. And now instantly, after he activates this, he has to wait. He can't activate this right away. The way this card is, like, activate. And then once on resolution, activate the effect. I change the effect of, Des uh, of activating the card of Despia. Play Needle Fiber, Needle Fiber, TG Wonder Magician, pop my Scythe, boom. No fusion summoning for you this turn. If I had Baronis to floor right now, it would be wonderful, but I don't. All right, he attacks, that's fine. That's totally great, fine by me. Next, my turn. Now, that's all you need. All you need for Artifact Scythe is to waste one turn of your opponent. If Scythe wastes one turn of your opponent, you are playing, you are playing Pendulums. If you are playing Pendulums, don't you think that Pendulums are going to OTK your opponent because you're playing Pendulums? Obviously. So that's all you need. Waste one turn of your opponent, and then you're going to kill them. TG Wonder Magician is a spellcaster, which is really cool, but it's also a tuner. So you're going to Needle Fiber. With needle Fiber, we go to Tuning Magician. I'm going to add with Celestial. Boom, I get hit with another Droll. Droll, does it affect my deck? A little bit, but not a lot. This is why the deck is really cool against Despia, Droll, against all that. If I, I would love to double iris here to get my pendulum graph, I would love to resolve my pen call, but I can't now. That's fine. Celine, at this point, I go into access code. He Nibiru's right away. Now, at this point, we made a little mistake. Nibiru, two mistakes we made here. Nibiru does not destroy face down monsters, it only destroys face up monsters. So that's a mistake we made over there. So, should all beasts should be staying on the field? Believe me though, it doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter in the grand scheme of things because I'm going to end up with the negate anyways to negate the should all beasts effect to draw. But still, <laughs> he still, it's, it didn't matter, but we should have caught that. 
even worse, he draws a card from the Shadal Beast despite being on a draw. So I tell him after that, well, we realize after that, you know, you couldn't draw, but we didn't realize that you, this die, that the only, Nibiru only destroys face up monsters until after the duel when I re uh, looked at my chat on Twitch. So, Nibiru's on field. Okay, I, we figure out later you can't draw. So I tell him, I trust whatever you drew, just put back, it's okay, you'll draw it anyways. And then he has that. I go Savage Dragon. So as you see here, I can just negate with Savage Dragon. So having the monster on face down defense didn't matter. The only difference would be the life points. So he would have a face down monster. I would just attack, attack both anyways. The only difference here is you gain some extra life points. Uh, so I will end on this. I try to play around Shadal Fusion if I could. But I'm like, I'll just negate all the Shadal Fusions. This card is dead because unless both of these cards are like uh, two monsters. And in that case, I'll just dragster it. So we're good. Shadal Fusion, negate. So no matter what happens, he lost. All right, my turn. Uh, his his game now. It's game three, his turn. So he opens Cosmic Droll, Super Poly Shadal Fusion, Branded Opening. So is this a good opening hand? Not really. If he had a Shadal, this would be fantastic. I want to confirm. Discard one card, take one Despia. Yeah, this card is not a cost. This card triggers Shadals. This card triggers Shadals. This card's insane. What the hell? So you just, he has forced to discard Super Poly. This gets his engine rolling. But him discarding Super Poly was a big red sign to me. The uh, red flag. Red sign. What kind of English am I speaking today? A big red flag. Because he doesn't want to discard one of the cards of his hand. Super Poly. So what does this tell me? This tells me that either he doesn't play Storming Venom. And he doesn't have a, a Shadal. Or it tells me every card in his hand is useful. He doesn't want to discard the Shadal Fusion. Because that will probably trigger in my turn. He add, uses this to add another branded opening. So I recognize he added another branded opening. I'm like, okay, all right. I'll keep that in mind. Probably in his hand. Draw. Okay, my turn now. So it breaks a little bit. I go desires. He goes draw and add a hand like this. Draw fucking destroys. I play nine spells that search. I happen to draw four of them. If you draw one of the spells that search, it's gone after you use it. It's not Ash Blossom. It's draw. So you need to draw like fucking three or four of the spells. I drew... I drew I drew four of the spells instead of two or three. So here, draw really hurts me. But we still have a play here. If I get out his entire field while playing through uh, every hand trap I could, we're good. I go, well, here be hand traps. We're fine because that means he has no follow-up. And Neo Fiber will get us a card. I go Celine. I go Access Code. At this point, he's thinking he wants to chain his branded opening. The second I pop branded opening, this is where a big brain play comes in. I want you guys to see this big brain play, okay? I know instantly once he look at this. He super poly, he didn't want he he didn't want to discard with a super poly. He didn't want to discard with his brand and opening. The card in his hand is Shadal Fusion. It's fucking obvious. He had no way into Shadal monsters. He didn't discard a Shadal. He didn't want to discard this card. He didn't use this card. This is a Shadal Fusion that I read instantly. So I'm gonna do what I can here. I'm gonna pop the uh, his other trap just in case. Okay, cosmic. So you don't want to pop this, this makes sense because both these are very the cotton's very good. Okay. So he doesn't want to discard this card in hand. What could it be Shadal Fusion? So what do I do? Instead of entering battle phase to attack the Despia, I actually use Axis Code Talker to banish itself. Which you could do, because I didn't banish another dark. So Axis Code could banish itself from the field, as long as you don't banish a dark from the grave, to pop a card in the field. Popping this card, now his Shadal Fusion cannot be used. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Big brain, baby! That's what you gotta do when you play the best deck. So now if you look at my hand, I pen call. I've game, Bro, I've game the next turn no matter what. I've game. I've game. If he puts up any board, he's not killing me through two cards. And I know for a fact it's Shadal Fusion. I've game. This is just auto win game. I Dark Ruler any negate he puts up. And I put up five negates and win the duel. If he doesn't have a board, I OTK him into Oblivion. That's it. So here, he drops Phantasmi. Alright, great. He passes, I'm like, I fucking knew it. He had something like that. So next, I'm gonna go Pen Call. At this point, Pen Call is better than Desire. In case he's another Droll. He could have another Droll. So I'm playing around Droll right now. If he Drolls me, I have Oaf, Celestial, Oaf, add back Harmo. I have four monsters in the field. One Chrono, two Harmo, Harmo Effect. Five monsters because of two Magician. I have five monsters in the field through Droll and Lockbird. So Droll and Lockbird is really not that good, man. I have four spells in my hand right now. This is after Droll. I have four spells in my hand. And even if he Drolls me, I have five monsters in the field. So that's fine with me. He doesn't Droll. I'm like, all right, one hand trap passed. All right, Shadal Fusion. All right, what else can he have? Nibiru, Phantasme, uh, Valor. I'm trying to play around every hand trap known to mankind. So what do I do? 
I go Duelist Alliance instantly, since I know he doesn't have- I have Pendulum Graph, but I opt for Duelist Alliance. And then I go Desires, okay? I'm gonna have about four cards, five cards left in my deck. Yeah, four cards in my deck. He said wait, he wanted to confirm if I could add Double Iris. You could add Double Iris to Duelist Alliance, simply because Double Iris says Monster Effect, this card is always treated as a Pendulum Dragon. So you could do that. Now, uh, what I want to do is, okay, I played through all these hand traps. He doesn't have Ash, because he didn't Ash Pen Call. He doesn't have Droll, because he didn't Droll Pen Call. He didn't Ash Desires or Pen Call. He could, uh, he, he probably should all fusion. He could have a Nibiru, a Veiler, an Imperm, or a Phantasmi. So these are the cards I'm thinking in my mind. I got to play around and should all fusion, especially. Okay, so what do I do? I scale Harmonizing Magician. All right, great. I had Oath to add Harmonizing. I didn't even summon the Harmonizing. I just summoned four big monsters, okay? I use Celestial at the end phase. No, I don't because I have four cards up in deck, so I don't want to add with Celestial. I have enough cards. I don't want to add. So... I attack him with these cards. I don't. I just go straight battle phase because I'm scared of Nibiru. I go straight into battle phase. Okay. So what does this do? This puts him at four, uh, like 1,500, which means next turn is prime for the kill. Next turn, I'm OTKing through Nibiru. Under five summons, everything. Main phase two now. Okay. Let's summon out Tuning Magician. If I summon out Tuning Magician, this tells me right now. Okay. I don't need to link. If I link, he can Phantasm, and linking doesn't give me anything unless it's Appaloosa. So, the only way I'm linking here is if I'm link summoning Appaloosa for four. They're all different summons, different name. Uh, Iris is a different name. I could right now, if I want to, link these four into Appaloosa. So, at this point, I'm like, response? If he Nibiru's me, my Nibiru token is massive. And I have no extra deck monsters. So, I'm playing around Shadal Fusion. And my mon token is going to be enough for game on the following turn. That's why I entered Battle Phase with four monsters. I don't even normal summon Harmonizing yet. I just wait. Alright, what's my next play? I go into Dragster. Can Dragster be Veilered? Can anything on my board be Veilered or Impermed or Gamma? Nothing. 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 Nothing could it be Veilered, Imper, Gamma, nothing. Okay. Do I normal harmonizing? No. I go into Dweller. If he Nibiru's me, my attack is still mass bigger than everything he has. My defense is still bigger than everything he has. And I keep a double iris because I actually non-ironically have a pen graph left in my deck. Funny. Four cards. No links. I play around Nibiru, because if Nibiru is me, I kill him next turn. And I know for a fact that the card should all fusion. And I pass. I don't normal the needle fiber. I don't want the the I don't want the Nibiru to hurt too much just in case. What's he draw? Driver. I'll play around everything in existence. Draw phase dweller. If he wants to shall fusion me, I would fucking let it resolve. He would have a... Well, I, I can't, I'll negate it because he'll go construct, attack, dragster, and then yeah. But even though all the stuff will be gone. What can he do? Nothing. This is game. No matter what he has. I played around everything. He made a point. Played around my whole hand. I'm like, thank you. And this match was incredible. I love this match. And I want to give a shout out to my opponent. Because he showed me that game one. That game one that he showed me. He showed me a Despia is a real deck. Despia is not to be trifled with. Despia is a solid deck. Absolutely. So before we end up this video. I do want to showcase the deck profile that I used. It's the same video that I used the other day with my pure Magician deck, which I think is a valid contender, this meta. Let's check it out. This is it in all its greatness. No changes to the last deck profile, deck list. It's really, really good. It's really well done, and it's good versus everything. Side deck perfect versus everything. Even a Dragon Pulse to outrank it, Butler. Battle Butler. Battle is send your ass to the graveyard with Dragon Pulse. Uh, whole extra deck works out nice. Main deck, perfect. I wouldn't change a thing. The only thing you can even debate doing is removing two Sorcerer for two Curtain Razor. Don't play Dark Worm. You don't want Gate Zero and Dark Worm in the scale. You only want Magicians in the scale. Sork is a Magician because it adds Joker. Joker adds back the card to the scale that Sork pops to ensure that Tuning Magician resolves because this whole deck is revolved around Tuning Magician. Every deck, every monster in this deck is somehow a Pendulum Magician. So... It's synergy is amazing and it's pure and so good. Anyways, that's a video. Great match versus Despia. Despia versus Magicians. Despia does not come out on top. It's Pendulum. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, you guys need to do me a massive favor and smash the subscribe button. I want 50,000 subs ASAP. I'm not out here saying, buy my match, guys. Send me money. I don't need no money. I just want you guys to smash the subscribe button so I can go travel to OCG because at 50,000 subscribers, I promise I'll be traveling to OCG land and playing with Electromite. And I'm so excited to do it. 
but not until we get 50k subs. Vlogs every day, literally a vlog every day in the life of a Yu-Gi-Oh player traveling. I'll be traveling the world playing Yu-Gi-Oh. So if you guys want to see that at 50k subs, you guys better smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, comment down below if you are right or wrong. I told you in the beginning of the video who's going to win Death Gear Pen. Well, if you are right, comment down below. Say so that's what I fucking thought. If you want to do the video, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please! Yeah. <laughs>